Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand distance vector routing algorithm. The basic definitions of routing, routing table and routing algorithms, different types of routing algorithms has already been discussed in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, uh, we will try to understand distance vector routing, how how this distance vector routing algorithm will work so that the routing tables are generated at the routers in an efficient way to get the shortest distance to get the shortest distance that is the objective of this entire algorithm so the first step is each router so this is our uh, assume that this is our network this is our network to which uh, uh, these are the uh, routers network to which the uh, uh, the uh, systems will get connected the computers will get connected okay so now in this uh, uh, in this router uh, in this uh, uh, network what happens is each router prepares its routing table using the knowledge about its immediate neighbor using the knowledge about its immediate neighbor the routing table will get generated in the first step in the first step using its immediate neighbors knowledge so the knowledge for example if you take what are the immediate uh, immediate routers to a the immediate routers means which is directly connected to the router the routers which are directly connected to the router for a the immediate routers are it is b c and d for example if you take d what are the immediate routers it is a and c it is not b try to get that point b is not directly connected to d if you take c it is b a and d and for b it is c and a it is not uh, d is not directly connected okay so that immediate routers knowledge will be there with each and every router based upon that knowledge based upon that knowledge the routing table will get first updated in the first step the routing table will get updated in the second step each router exchanges its distance vectors so each router uh, exchanges its distance vector obtained in the first step one with its neighbors so these are these are the routing tables that are generated at each and every router so whatever the values that we get in the first step for the distances so why it is called as distance vector routing algorithm means uh, here distance vector means it is uh, array of distances so the distances that we have obtained in each and every router this distance vector will be exchanged to its uh, directly connected nodes directly connected nodes so as the distance vectors are exchanged and the routing tables are generated based upon those distance vectors it is called as distance vector routing algorithm so these distance this distance vector will be exchanged to b and c and also to d and similarly the distance vector of b will be exchanged to a and also to c and the distance vector of d will be exchanged to c and a so on uh, the distance vector of c will be be exchanged to b d and a also okay this is how the exchanging of the distance vectors are done and after exchanging after exchanging the distance vector each router prepares a new routing table based upon the distance vectors that are exchanged that 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 a router will get based upon the, those distance vectors the new routing table will get generated the new routing table will get created will get updated okay this is how the distance vector routing will uh, will work and these are the two steps that are involved in creating a stable routing algorithm okay so the first step what is the first step uh, in this class we will try to generate we will try to generate the uh, routing tables by by using our first step in the next next class we will try to uh, generate the distance vector uh, routing tables by using the second step okay so first step states that uh, each routing table prepare its routing table uh, e each router prepares its routing table using the knowledge about its immediate uh, using uh, knowledge about its immediate neighbors okay so now 
these are the tables initially all the tables are empty and the based upon the knowledge that a is having about its immediate router based upon that no, uh, knowledge this routing table will get generated so now here this is the routing table at a if a wants to transmit its data to a means to itself what is the distance required the distance required is zero a wants to transmit its data to itself so it is zero and the next hop in order for that transmission to happen what is the what is the router to which the data has to be transmitted it is what we call it as next hop as it is transmitting its data to itself the next hop is a try to get that point okay if a wants to transmit the data to b what is the distance so the knowledge that it has is b is connected at a distance of 12 and to transmit the data from a to b what is the next immediate uh, uh, router to which it has to be transmitted it is b itself right and a wants to transmit to c a wants to transmit to c it is having the knowledge of c right so it is 9 the distance is 9 and the next hop is c try to understand how i am writing filling these values and a wants to transmit to d a wants to transmit to do d does the a have the knowledge of d yes because d is directly connected to a so it is 4 and uh, how it can transmit to d it is directly to do to d okay so next the routing table at b b wants to transmit to a b wants to transmit to a so the distance is 12 and the next hop is a itself and b wants to transmit to b so it is 0 and this is b and b wants to transmit to c so it is 1 the distance is 1 and uh, the next hop is C. B wants to transmit the data to D. Is it possible? Does the B has the knowledge about D? No, it does not have the knowledge about it, but it knows that there is a, a, a router called B, D is existing. So every router will have the knowledge about all the routers that are connected in the network. So in this entire network, whatever the routers are there, that, that knowledge is there with B, but the distance to transmit the data, the distance from B to D is not known is not known it has the knowledge about the router but the knowledge about the distance is not there so what it will do is it will consider it as infinity and the next hop is unknown next hop is unknown similarly what what how this 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 one will get filled it is c wants to transmit uh, the data to a uh, so the distance is 9 c to a 9 and the next hop is a c to b it is 1 and the next hop is B. C to C to C. So it is 0 and the next hop is C. C to D. It is 2 and the next hop is and the next hop is D. Okay. And the next one is a routing table generated at D. D to A. D to A is directly connected 4 and the next hop is A. D to B. Is it directly connected? No, it is not directly connected. So the distance is infinity and the next hop is not known. Okay. Next uh, D to C. D to C is uh, distance is 2 and uh, the next hop is C. D to D. It is 0 and the next hop is D. Okay, so this is how uh, the routing tables will get updated in the first step of distance vector routing algorithm. In the second step, what happens? In the second step, what happens is these distance vectors are exchanged to its immediate neighbors. For example, A will uh, exchange, A will transmit its distance vector to B and also to D and also to C which uh, to the routers to which it is directly connected. Okay. For example, if you take D, D transmits its distance vector to C and also to A. 
so these exchanges are done at a uh, all those exchanges are uh, done at a time and uh, the routing tables will generate its new routing table and after that again the exchange will will be done so how many times those exchanges are done and how the stable routing table uh, tables will get generated that we will try to understand in our next coming videos hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching